In this video, I have the 10 ways to level up your life. I'm talking about taking yourself from the person that you are right now to improving your environment, your productivity, your mindset, and your confidence. What's going on everyone? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel where I help you carve your own path by building a high performance mindset. Have you ever been in that position where you feel it down deep in your bones that you need to change something to create any type of momentum? You know deep down that you need to level up your life, but you keep getting these feelings of unfulfillment, unfulfillment towards what you do on a daily basis and your day-to-day -day routines are draining you. Not to mention the fear of living the rest of your life in mediocrity starts to set in. I've been there myself and a lot of times we get so bogged down that we don't even know where to start. Here are 10 ways to level up your life right now. Number one, take on a difficult program or challenge. These programs are things like 75 hard or whole 30 or maybe it's just a challenge where you walk every single day for 30 days for 45 minutes each day. Maybe it's drink a gallon of water every day. These things do a lot for you in terms of developing some momentum, some confidence, but most importantly, they teach you to do the small things that add up over the long haul. When you take charge of your own life, when you decide to level up your life, you understand what can be gained by putting yourself through some challenging growth. By committing yourself to these small yet crucial details, you train yourself to start recognizing the importance and start associating value with these small things. The second way to level up your life is to eliminate complaining, but more importantly, negativity. It's one thing to let yourself slip up and complain here and there, but what's really a drag on you and those around you is when you complain about the same things every single day. It's too cold here today. I'm too tired. I'm sick of this job. I don't have the time to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. <laughs> you know that when you're trying to level up your life and you catch yourself saying some of these things, you get this feeling of disappointment. You ask, why did that just come out of my mouth? That's not me, nor is that who I want to be. Real quick, I just wanna say, if you're enjoying this content so far, go ahead and smash that like button and it'll tell the YouTube algorithm to push this content out to more people and help them level up their life. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be sure to notify you anytime that I release new content. The third way to level up your life is to develop a small daily system or routine to move the needle forward. Leaders and other people who are trying to level up their life know when they're overextended and when it's time to dial back. If you're trying to build just a little bit of momentum or just improve your habits in general, do not go off the deep end and create this huge routine that you cannot sustain. Ask yourself this question and it will give you the answer on what to do. What is the most important thing to me to accomplish in the near future? What's your number one goal that you've been thinking about lately or working toward? From there, do one thing every single day repeatedly and that will help you build momentum towards achieving that goal. An easy way to achieve this and repeatedly build more momentum is to sit down daily and determine a schedule and a daily crucial task list. To be more productive, we need to level up what we're currently doing and that's going to look different for everyone. But the common theme for everyone is to assess their daily performance or what they do on a daily basis. More productivity is going to come as a byproduct from implementing a structured plan and process to execute the day. The fourth way to level up your life is to embrace a selfless approach instead of a victim mentality. We all experience rough patches in life. There's no doubt about it. But sometimes how long those rough patches last is completely dependent on you. The key when we're down is to try and build momentum. And I know it's easier said than done. I know it's very difficult getting any momentum started when you feel hopeless. But even just the smallest amount of momentum can really take off. Leaders and those that want to level up their life don't sit in a rut very long and they are very creative in developing momentum. Think of building momentum like pushing a car. At first, the car is so heavy and it's not budging. But then when you get those wheels to roll an inch, an inch turns into a foot and a foot turns into 10. And before you know it, the car is almost rolling on its own. Then when you hit a downhill, that car takes off. But at the same time, remember that you're going to experience an uphill battle. That's when you have to bury your feet, push twice as hard and keep going. Or you could just stand in one spot and complain that the hill is there. It's up to you. The fifth way to level up your life is to strive to be a nicer, calming presence. When stress kicks in, a lot of us tend to struggle, myself included. But it takes hardly any effort to pass on good vibes to somebody. Real leaders and people who want to level up their lives go out of their way to make someone feel special. Buy them a coffee, send them a handwritten card, or do something out of the blue that'll make their day. 
something that'll make them feel a little more important today. People will start to associate good things with you if you start to do good things for others. The sixth way to level up your life is to implement regular workouts. This is a no-brainer, and I know some of you just sighed and said, I hate working out. Then find ways that you can be active that actually take your mind off of it. After all, if you want to level up your life, you've got to become a problem solver. Join a class, play pickup basketball, take your dogs out on a jog. Any of these things can take your mind off of working out and put you in a completely better headspace. Besides, I've never heard anyone say, man, I really regret working out. It really put me on a bad path. The seventh way to level up your life is to consistently find ways to be creative. Creativity builds us up in so many different ways as human beings. It allows self-expression, opening up new ways of thinking, and giving you a sense of accomplishment that you created something that just started out as an idea. Now, don't go crazy to the point where you find yourself stressing about being more creative. It can be something simple like journaling or writing, maybe a painting, or maybe you just like thinking of new business ideas and concepts. No matter what your choice is, find ways to push your creative limits. The eighth way to level up your life is to find ways to eat a little bit better. I'm definitely not talking about a complete overhaul on your diet. For the majority of us, we could always implement a few better eating habits. And as someone who's looking to level up their life, you're looking to build sustainable, repeatable habits, not taking on some aggressive nutrition plan that is unsustainable. The good thing is there are still ways to enjoy your treats, even if we eat a little bit better. For example, if you're a big soda drinker, try zero calorie stevia sweetened drinks like Zevia. Or if you're really big on ice cream, brands like Halo Top give you a guilt-free experience when you're getting your fix. Keep in mind, if you're just learning or just starting to eat better, then just make it simple on yourself and eat more real foods rather than those that come straight from the package. The ninth way to level up your life is to get your day organized. This one is simple and can turn your life around. Real leaders start their day with a plan. Ask yourself each and every day, what three things can I do today that will get me closer to my goal tomorrow? These are non-negotiable. So when you say that you're going to do something, have the discipline to keep your word and to perform and execute the process. Letting yourself slide and ignore these commitments that you made to yourself makes it easier for you to accept failure in the future. No leveling up your life that way. And number 10, strive to listen better. As humans, if we want to relate to someone else, we have to communicate effectively. Also as humans, we often like to talk about ourselves. By listening just a little bit more, you may find that you actually relate to a lot more people than you thought. When you listen more and you actually hear what they have to say, you may find that there's more joy in the conversation. People will actually want to hear what you have to say. Besides, people love to feel heard, but most importantly, it can build their self-esteem. You might even learn something about yourself just by listening to their experiences. I hope you enjoyed the 10 ways to level up your life. If you stuck around this far and didn't smash that like button, smash that like button. And as always, if you want to see more content related to building a high performance mindset and lifestyle development, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.